Hello Libra, welcome to a love reading. We're going to look at past, present, and future energies, as well as how you feel about each other. So let's jump right in for Libra. Messages for Libra Spirit regarding love. As always, this is going to be a general message. So it will not resonate with every single Libra watching 100%. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So we got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. Either in the past or in the past. Obviously, past life. Um, interesting here. I don't know why, but this finances and career is making me think of the seven of pentacles. I feel like this woman looks like she's planting seeds here. Never really noticed that before, but I'm thinking of someone like having difficulties with, you know, putting in effort and not getting something back, you know? So let's get into the tarot here. Now, as I was saying, Libra, this will be a general message. If you find that this doesn't resonate for you, then that's okay. Check out my playlist for Libra. I have a ton of other videos there that might resonate for you. Maybe the title calls out to you. I'll have the playlist linked in the comments. Okay, let's see what we get. In the past position, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. In your energy, we have, excuse me, we have the Ten of Swords reversed and the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay. Present energy, we have the Seven of Cups with the Tower reverse. In their energy, we have the Magician and the High Priest is reversed. Okay this in the near future ten of cups reversed bottom of the deck I have the two of wands so some sort of decision path needing to be chosen here this could be you this could be your person um, I feel like your person is trying to make something happen with the magician uh, and it's I feel going to be some sort of reveal or maybe they're going to open up in some way because they have the high priestess reversed there i feel i feel like this tower already happened but we'll clarify and see because it could also be that someone's trying to like prevent this tower from happening and they're trying to figure out how right but I have two tens reverse. So this tells me that there has already been some sort of cycle that has ended here. Um, you could have caught someone doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Hmm. Let's clarify. I'm gonna move this over actually because probably not gonna have that much room, okay. Let's start with this Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. So another 10, by the way. A change, um, a progression, something moving forward. A, you know, it's like a, a cycle here. Luck is on your side. Fate is on your side. Divine timing. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? The Two of Cups reverse. So I feel like this is some, some sort of separation happened in the recent past. And I feel like it was meant to happen. I don't know if it was between you and this person or if there was someone else involved here, but a disconnect was supposed to happen because I feel it's moving things along. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. 
Why is the Seven of Cups here? What's this about? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups? With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, this is someone that is still attached to something. It's not free or independent. Six of Pentacles. This is rebalancing. This is giving, taking. I feel like someone's trying to figure out what choice, what path with the Seven of Cups, that Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck that we saw earlier. Which option would be the right option for me? To give to someone or to get something that I need? Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Communication, Knight of Swords, movement. Fast movement here. This is someone that's motivated. Um, they want to either deliver some sort of truth or get some sort of information across and they want this to happen fast. This this person could be needing some sort of confirmation message in order to make something more balanced here. But I have the sun at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like something needs to be brought to light. Um, maybe this is a message that will make you very happy, uh, Libra. Or they're wanting to communicate to someone. But I feel like this is possibly just clarity, um, some sort of truth here. Because I also have the High Priestess reversed for this other person. Tell me about the Tower reverse. This is slowly making sense here. Tell me about the Tower reverse spirit for Libra, please. The Emperor reversed Aries energy. Someone's powerless here. They, they're powerless to stop something. This is a situation that is out of their control. Can I get one more for this tower reverse? Tell me more for this tower reverse, please. Six of cups reverse. This is regarding the past and I have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, I don't know, it's like someone is wanting to talk in order to keep a situation balanced and maybe avoid this tower. Strength reverse, king of pentacles reverse. This, this is out of this person's control. Um, there could be financial difficulties or they just can't give to something the way they want to. Leo energy with strength reverse. This could be somebody that's trying to force the issue as well with strength reverse and the emperor reverse. But there's an attachment here that already exists. Um, I don't know if it's financial. Let's look at your energies here. using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is linked down below if you're curious on getting your own deck. Spirits, angels, guys. Hear messages, please. Spirit, tell me about Libra's energy and this other person's energies, please. Okay. I'm not gonna take this because I didn't, didn't get a chance to ask whose energy I wanted. But I find it very interesting that I have a love letter here. 
message confession response. A special a special message is on its way. That's this Knight of Swords. There's something I feel that's coming towards you here very quickly. Tell me about Libra's energy spirit. What is Libra's energy spirit at this time? Balancing act, juggling indecision, balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. I feel like you're going back and forth about something. Tell me about this person's energies. What are this other person's energies, spirit, in this connection with Libra? Wishing well, wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. Yeah, well, this person definitely is trying to manifest something here. We're going to see what it is, but this is someone that wants something, maybe is wishing for something to happen here. So let's clarify. Let's get more into your energies here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Libra, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Five of Wands reverse. Well, the fighting is over. The drama is over because I feel something already happened here. There could be uh, somebody wanting to move forward, move on, um, not deal with this anymore. Yeah, death. Scorpio energy. I feel like you probably initiated the ending of something or you're ready for a change here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Maybe you caught someone in a lie. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you just sneaked away. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. This is something that's being seen clearly though. A person's being seen clearly here. You know, they try to like sneak away into the night, but it backfired. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you, you, um, You were bold. I'm also getting attraction here. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords reverse. Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this was someone that uh, deceived you or uh, wasn't fair to you. But there was attraction here. Chemistry. Maybe that kept you engaged, but I feel like uh, someone play dirty here. Someone didn't want to lose, and so they resorted to something else. There was failure here. This didn't happen the way that someone expected it to um, with the Five of Swords. There was definitely conflict here. I have two fives. But there was an ending. A change. So what is this person manifesting? Why is the magician here? The star reverse Aquarius energy. Why is the magician here? I feel like they really want to heal something. Ah, I think they want to change your mind about something. Maybe they've had a change of heart and now they want to heal a situation. But I'm also picking up that they might want to change your mind. You have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck wanting to start new. Have some sort of new beginning here. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Why is the High Priestess reverse? Wow, we have the Hierophant. Your person keeps getting major arcanas, major shifts in energy. The Hierophant is a commitment. It could be marriage. It could be somebody being very traditional, doing what's expected of them, following you know societal rules and expectations. They try to do the right thing. But it could also be that this person, you realize this person had some something else going on here. Some other commitment, obligation. 
Tell me about the high priestess reverse. This person could also be, um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm getting, this person could be wanting to be free of something in order to have you. Because I do have this seven. Yeah, this, the devil reverse. Capricorn energy, more major arcanas here. And I have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Again, you know. Happiness, fulfillment, and then the page of swords. And then, wow, the queen of cups. So this person, I feel they're motivated in wishing you know their their wish or desire is to have you this could be our wish right here the start reversing maybe it's just not happening for them maybe they changed their mind too late too little too late but i feel like this is someone that had to break free of something unhealthy or is possibly in a toxic situation uh commitment but they're focused on breaking free to have happiness you know, or maybe this is coming out to the light. Very nice and bright. I have the page of swords. And then after that, the five of pentacles reverse. So overcoming difficulty, another five. Having some sort of recovery here. It could be financial. Maybe they're stuck in a toxic situation due to finances. Um, maybe they weren't honest with you and deceived you, well, you know, whether they meant to or not. And now they're trying to manifest a way to get you back here. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom? Oops. Hold on. I was going to say at the bottom of the deck, but it's in the near future position. Hold on. I moved the camera. Okay. The hangman came out. Let's see what this Ten of Cups reverse is about. This is in the near future. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here, Spirit? The Ten of Cups reverse. Judgment. Wow. Okay. Can I get one more for this Ten of Cups reverse? Strength reverse. More major arcanas. What's this? Six of Wands reverse. Leo energy with the Strength card reverse. Um, you might be dealing, I mean, there's a lot of signs here, but I'll just mention them. I have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio. Those are just some of the signs here. Um, strength reverse. This could be a lack of courage, a lack of strength. Um, trying to force something as well. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. One more, please. And Judgment. This is a card all about revival, resurrection. Looking at the past, learning from it in order to move forward. Six of Swords reverse. This person wants to come back. This person wants to come back. They want to talk to you. I don't know if you've blocked them or have stopped talking to them. Um, I feel like they're trying to for, it's almost like they cannot, um, they need this second chance. Like they can't give up on this. Um, I feel like this person has some sort of financial ties or struggles that keep them from moving quicker, quick, more, more quickly you know, they want to move more quickly. And there's like some sort of financial situation that's preventing them from doing so. Could also be job related. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. But I feel like this person wants you back. And I think they're going to, um, they're gonna, the decision will be yours. I think you go back and forth about this. Uh, maybe you have a lot going on right now. This is the least of your worries. I'm not sure. But I feel like this person's very focused on having some sort of second chance here with the judgment card and it's almost like you know i have two two the six of swords reverse and the eight of cups reverse so i feel like this is someone coming back wanting to come back i'll leave uh it here libra thank you so much for watching i hope this reading resonated for you if it did leave me a comment let me know i'd love to hear from you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to um, support the channel for free and you're enjoying the readings um, it really helps out the channel a lot uh, again, thank you so much for watching, for your support, 
and every information or anything that you want to know is down in the description box. Uh, all right, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Take care.